No, it should be live. And tell me if I, if you guys can only hear me in your left ear, because apparently that's what's going down right now. So, uh, is you it don't like I see? light ears? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't affect me. I only have, I only wear one uh, earpiece anyway. <laughs> oh, it just happened talk. to be the left one? Oh, no, are, uh, did you even hear yourself when you saw it? No. <laughs> uh, okay. You you should go to your. Actually, no. I'll just go to your stream and see. I mean, I'm on my own stream, but I'm not, I have it on mute on my laptop just so I can read the comments. Uh, yeah, I'll just go to it. So. Yeah, people. Here it is. You. Cosmo, you bad. I said I was gonna do it as soon as I did that deck profile for Cosmos from the read. I was like, I could do Cosmo, you bad. That's easy. <laughs> So uh, I guess we'll sack a couple people with the power of Cosmos. Like, I think you're good on your stream. Hold on, I have to mute you really quick because I'm hearing too many things. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to mute you. <laughs> All right, just don't talk for like 30 seconds. Yeah, you're good on your stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, it's only Google, I guess. I don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, yeah. I'm totally going to do it. I'm going to have Terror on the field. Then I'm going to call the Hunter Oasis Dark Destroyer. Dark Destroyer, Pop, Terror, Summon, Ultra Nightmare. Then I have Ultra Nightmare and Dark Destroyer. Let's go. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> oh, let me mute I'm... the stream because it's too many voices. All right. True, true. That's all I have muted. Freaking, uh... We have an extra deck, surprisingly. And then the sad thing is, the 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 more that I actually look at here, the the low res, it looks low res. Like, look at this infinity. Holy shit, that's ugly. <laughs> Dweller looks like shit too. Well, now Dweller looks okay. What's this shit? Oh, dark. I actually you. like some of the cards on here more. <laughs> like, if look up mistake and look at uh, mistakes art. Mistake. I don't see the difference. Oh, wait. I mean, I'm not using the same DN as me. I, oh, I think I'm okay. using a better one. Yeah, you're probably using a better one because I'm using like. Uh, here, I'll actually give you the link. Because this one looks like. Sh Some of these arts look like shit. Uh, like you can even see like the. I just go to the stream and put it in there. That one better looks okay. Hey. Oh my god, I can't put I'm links in the stream. Say, no, just send it to me over Skype. Yeah. <laughs> Please, like comments, right like, now. I'm using dual screen, so it's I'm getting I'm still getting used to being able to use dual screen. Or, okay, I probably have to log out of this DN. Yeah. Log into this DN. Because then they'll be like, Until hey, you're already logged scene. in. <laughs> right. You bet it looks like shit. <laughs> this this one should be a lot better. I mean at least Infinity looks better, but look at look at you, Bell. That looks like shit. <laughs> All right, let's look at the steak. It's so pretty. Oh, definitely looks more secret, right? <laughs> so pretty. I'm in is super rare. Yeah, it these are definitely be. like more high res. All right, that works. And see, Dark Destroy. That, that's not Dark Destroy. That's Dark Dark Darkness. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, go. let's go. <laughs> I can never figure out where my mouse is on both of these screens. It's like I move it over a little bit and then it just moves to the other one. I I I, I don't like you putting me on the spot like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not exactly. <laughs> Were you the one I sold to that sketchy guy in the alleyway? <laughs> it's like you, you messaged me once. I'm, I'm assuming you're one of my viewers subscribers. I maybe remember you from maybe dueling you on here, but no. <laughs> Let's get a duel in. So, First duel. Hype. Yeah. <laughs> that still doesn't ring a bell. Yep, so first dual height. Well, he's the utopic dragon guy, so that narrows it down to uh, three people in existence. 
Yeah, yeah, like you took a dragon. All right, <laughs> but, all right. All right. All right. Well, if you continue to message me, I'll message you back. Uh, anyway, people, all right, I gotta apologize to you. Twin Twister is kind of ridiculous at three. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. See? See? I'll give you that. All right. All right. It should probably go down to two. Two. Okay, that's a fair. That's fair. That's <laughs> because fair. holy shit, <laughs> I got blown away at digitals. <laughs> Every single duel, twist, 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 like it's too consistent. I'm getting blown away. It's not fair. I'm that's salty. exactly my point. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and set the Cosmo Joe, especially with all the enabler decks. Like, I, I get your point. I wouldn't say it's like Lavalvo Chain, but I get the enabling part because holy shit, PK Fire was stupid. Fucking one guy in Monarch, see if I can pitch Pantheism, and then got the search. I was like, oh fuck you. Uh, it's not even a neg. <laughs> Technically, it's even, but you're plussing off a of Twin Twister, so I think that's stupid. But because, like, I personally, every time okay. I flip Twin Twister, I pretty much win. Like, if I hit, like, I guess it's because I use OTK decks. Um, but every time I flip a Twin Twister and make plays, I just win. So, because for me, like, you know how you flip vanities and win. Mm-hmm. It's annoying and it's limited. It, it, flip Twin Twister win, in my opinion, is just as annoying. So that's why I think it should go down. Playing them kind of won this card. So if he gives it to me, then that's fine too. I forgot Tin Can can get non monsters. Yeah, Tin Can can get any Cosmo card power. <laughs> go ahead and Imagine if it too. destroyed him instead of just sending him to the grave. Oh. Mm-hmm. I said Cosmos, Cosmos, but it's just this. This is meta, though. This meta, though. They're using them. I don't really remember. <laughs> I've done so many streams. Can you choose for me? Can you choose for me? He probably wants you to roll a die, like a, or assign the values. Oh, okay. Well, that's just weird. Generally, the regionals, people assign the value. One, two, dark, uh, I mean, destroyer. Three, four, eclipse. Well, typical of noobs who don't know how to work that. What? Uh, five, six. Um. He's probably saying that because of your rating. <laughs> I said, in the originals, people just did their own assignment. I just revealed three cards, and they said the numbers. And then I will go ahead and use a fat, get me the fuck out of there, and then I'll go ahead and special summon Dark Destroyer. All right. Well, he was mad. Hey, it wins a win, right? You Bell Cosmo FTKing since 2016. <laughs> Yeah, Twin Twitch is a little bit ridiculous. Like, some strike should be at one, but Twin Twister should be at two because it's just, it's the ratio is off. It's too much of both sides. <laughs> I I despise Solom. Like every deck I play, Solom just wrecks it. Every yep. deck. Because Solom strike wrecks everybody. There's not a single deck in Yu-Gi-Oh that can survive, and then there's still some people to this day. But think uh, of me as a Yang Zing player. Oh no no! You 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 commit all your resources and get striked. It's over. It's like okay, it take f- like three four turns to make a backseat at Saul. Well, that was fun. Mm-hmm. Or as a Quasar player, okay, take like half my extra deck to make the Quasar. Oh, Saul, great. Yep, yep. Miss my timing and everything. Awesome. Yeah, the ratio is just too high. It's just it's just unfair, man. It's getting blown back. With fucking Saul strikes. Like holy crap. Like, I just don't understand how you could keep that card at three. Think of the OCG. <laughs> they have Solemn uh, Judgment, Warning, and Triple Solemn Strike. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, well, why didn't you run alert? Because one, it's a U-Bell deck, and I hate banishing my freaking shit. And then with me putting the 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 U-Bell related cards in, the, the deck was really tight. So I was thinking about alert, but then I was like, I had to opt out of it. So it's a powerful card, and if you're just playing pure Cosmos, yes. But in here, no. So, that, that's Drawn to the new bells. 
<laughs> yeah, I had to drop my U bells and shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my end phase. I'm gonna pay that five hundred. Uh, I don't know. Oh well, let me go ahead and do a sec, of course. I don't know what I want. I already have Dark Destroyer, but of course more Dark Destroyer is always great. <laughs> and then if I send to the graveyard, that's great too. Like just the power of Tin Can. <laughs> Tin can it's too much power, man. It's too much power. I think I might just go ahead and reveal. Like, I always have the Veiler for the Tin Can. I'm just lucky like that. Yeah, that's so I definitely in the tournament, whenever I had emergency teleport, I was like, in phase, emergency teleport Tin Can. <laughs> it's surprising how many people pretend Veiler doesn't exist. Veiler's so good. Like, it just kind of fell out. Like, I even side, I, 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 I say when I, in the regionals, I sided in Veiler the most. Like, I Monarchs, like Cosmos, and everything. I, prob- I probably could have made that. I don't have to hurry. I- I'm not taking that long. I'm just trying to think what I want to do. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get the Cosmo Town. All right, you know the drill. One, two, destroy. I hate piping this. So destroy wrong. Destroy. Three, four. Eclipse. So you're just finding the most impatient people today. Really, I really am, which is totally fine. At least I get to go ahead and keep the tin can on the field for now. There's actually a freaking duel where, uh, and the monarch, when I built the monarch in the regionals, he summoned the idea. I had tin can on the field. He summoned the idea. I veiled it. And he's like, oh, that sucks. So, uh, we'll die. We'll a. Is it die? D I E? I think yeah. it's die. Yeah. Dice would be plural. Yeah. So just roll die for me. I will go ahead and get Eclipser, which is fine. If you just put it right in the grave to begin with, it's faster. Shortcuts. True, true. I know it's been a while since you touched the end. It really has. It really has. Uh, and then and he, he just he was so shocked about his idea getting Valor that he proceeded to just end the turn and not even kill my or go after my tin can. So I got tin can effect again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and for tin can effect? He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Valor like, just indicates people's ability to think. <laughs> not just monster effects. Seven in the bubbly, that is fine. I have to say, you're just going to go ahead and hit me with that uh, mass change from the Asin? More power to you. I will chain, summon you Bell, go to Terror, Tin Can hop out of the way, fucking Dark Destroyer, pop my Terror, summon Ultimate. Like, nah, nigga, I got plays. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, chill. It's just, it's, it's just a, uh, I don't even know what he's, I want to say it's a hero deck, but I can't be sure. Obviously, okay. he's winning heroes, but. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Go into battle phase instead of card. Sure. So Didn't you hear? They changed the rules. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my fact. I'm gonna hop out of the way. Uh, it'd be funny if you had a Farm girl, actually, because he can't do shit against farm girl. Yeah. I'll you do know he has that mass change. I don't want. I don't want to summon Doctor Strife right now. <laughs> but you know he has that mass change. I know. So go ahead, summon that mass. Do it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Um. Uh, back to the fact, sir. <laughs> how do you attack and then go to defense? Like, nay, no, one. But you he, normal summon, how do you attack, normal then summon, then attack, then go to defense? Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Broke the rules twice. <laughs> um, Bro. Oh, um, you have a monster? Okay. No, he's, um, you... I think he's scooping. I think he's scooping. Hold yeah, on. Give, if you want to scoop. A... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You have a monster. My, my faith is too high. <laughs> oh, no, no, you control a monster. If you're going to play some fucking Dank Lawdot debt. This ain't even 420. That was three days ago. All right. All right. Never oh, mind. I you should just... have done something for that. <laughs> made like, oh, I should have made a fire plant deck. <laughs> oh, I missed the chance. You got to play that ragweed, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. Ragweeds and lone fire. Uh, so, so what you said? I bet. I bet. What did you do? What did? What did you uh, say? I bet. <laughs> let me. Let me go. Let me go ahead and quote you. I bet. <laughs> bet you're a noob. You are a noob. Like holy shit, dude. Like you're doing plays that aren't even legal. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I listen. We've been over this how many times? What's the, the first fuck? rule of the game? Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You. You. You are clearly cheating. <laughs> I was joking. 
Like, how, how did you play Hero Lives? Like, nigga, <laughs> Hero Lives? It's, it's literally the first fucking shit you read. <laughs> the first fucking shit you read. Even before you pay half your life points to summon a hero monster. If you control no face up monsters, you clearly have that bubbly man. Nigga. I believe the first rule of the game is you're not allowed to read. Oh my god. <laughs> this is your card. How? <laughs> That's the point. You're not supposed to know what you your cards do. You can't even a hero lives, man. Holy crap. You control the bubbly man. Now you play two heroes. Not one where you play it and you would have no monster summon a monster, but then you play another one which you would already have no monster that you just summoned from the previous hero lid to summon a monster. Like, what? <laughs> the funny thing is, this play makes him lose faster because you can legit just banish after he did that and then you Dark Destroyer would run over. <laughs> Shadow yeah, oh, and, and keep in mind, and keep in mind, we're still in the fucking battle phase. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to see what he does in main phase too. What? <laughs> Put it in the grave and then done it. What? You can't even activate it. You can't even oh, activate so because it. Because I did it really quickly. It's okay. Plus, you're still in battle. Plus, <laughs> you are still in I'm about battle. To leave the room. How the fuck <laughs> do you, hero, hero lives? During battle, <laughs> it's not a quick play. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Listen, these, uh, these buttons in the middle of the screen—they're just there for decoration. They, these phases or whatever they're called—they don't actually mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Hello? <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> oh my god, it is so bad, it's funny. <laughs> nah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck being playing this game properly. Nah, nah, man. I don't think the, the decent players have come back to DN yet. I mean, you got your images back, sort of. Like, let's go, get back on DN, decent players, we miss you. <laughs> Holy they're shit. All, they're all busy doing stuff in real life. <laughs> actual people socializing oh. in the real world like losers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. That was that was just <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was, but it was bad. That was cancer, that's what it was. Someone can can got that veil though? That veil though. Like I think I think you, this format you should definitely main deck Valor. Valor down to the socks. Yeah, yeah you should you should main deck Valor. There's like no reason why you shouldn't main deck Valor. Ooh, I see the plays, even though yeah. this is like a regular Cosmo play, but still I see the plays. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do the regular Cosmo plays for now. Go ahead and pay that five hundred, get that effect. I should just copy and paste because uh, well, I'm not doing the Cosmo count this time, so we'll go ahead and get you. We'll get you and uh... <laughs> give, give Listen, me that dark I don't plant. Play Cosmo, so I'm just watching. Any play I suggest is probably like the worst play possible. Yeah. Cause I'm getting, I, I'm already not wanting to play this deck because Pink Cam makes me type this so much. Before clips, like six, what? I'm already getting picked and tired of doing this shit. I keep on getting dark clips, which is fine. So I know new Cosmo cards came out, but I haven't had a chance to like read them. Uh, I mean, I was thinking about doing card review on them because you know, out of all the competitive decks, I think I like Cosmos the most, most, and they're Cosmos. Uh, I wouldn't say they're too great though. Or I could just do it now. Like, sh what do you guys think? Should I just should I just do it now? The fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Flip a coin. Okay. I, I still don't see any threat, and I still got that call to hunt up the spot pop. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Why is Tin Can a psychic? By the way, it's clearly a pile of metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the name, Tin Can. Where do you get psychic from that? It looks like a pile of metal. It's named after a pile of metal. In the movie, it's a pile of metal. 
<laughs> in both movies, it's a pile of metal, but it's a psychic. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my effect. Let me hop out. About to get wrecked by that Chimera tech. If that's what he wants to do. I, that's, that's one of the least of my concerns. I do not care about Chimera tech. Go for it? All right. All right. So... I think we got five cards to review, actually, because there was one that Mega Capital G and then missed. I know that for sure. So let me scroll down and actually find like DPYGO's video or or, or Mega Capital G's and get that no. one to go. Um, Hello, get the fuck out of my ear with that shit. Um, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> that sells. Dark chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> this man, this man. Because uh, so uh, it would take me a while. I was thinking about doing like maybe like two or three cards in card review, but no, nah, I like to save those for individual cards. At least we finally got our, our Darth Vader, so that's nice. We did? Yeah. All right, let me actually do my turn this turn. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and summon Armageddon Knights on you, Bell. Like, there's really no point in me doing anything cute right now. So I guess this dude's just running a straight-up Mechlord deck with a uh, random Cyber Dragon. I guess. Just sucks that I don't get my normal summon. Because it's definitely not a Cyber Dragon deck. I might I go ahead and destroy his his Skyle with card effect, because I don't want him to summon another Mechlord. I can just call the hunt and summon Dr. Destroyer and then pop in. All of the mind. mech lord monsters that he can summon are basically really weak. Mm, okay. Like, he can't summon any of the big ones off of that. We'll go ahead and kill Skyle, I guess, and then I'll try to attack a test Cyber Dragon, get hit with that fucking Honest, and then kill myself, so. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably another Skyle or a Skill. I think it's Skill. Oh, okay. I could be wrong, but... Hey, no, you gotta play that DM, man. That guy thought I was gonna be a noob, and it turned out he was the noob. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's not really a threat. I'd say the Cyber Dragon's more of a threat right now, just because he can contact. I'm probably giving honest, him more... Honest, 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 I'd be honest, 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 team, nope. honest. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Uh... Uh, I'll gladly go ahead and pay. Just uh, you wait. He's going to tribute summon that Majesty's Feed and then go Regeki. And then you'll just flip Call of the Hobbit. Oh, right. Cosmo Town. I was, I was about to say what? Yeah, I'll get that back. All right. Let's go ahead and look at these cards. So first we got uh, Cosmo Dank Planet. Level 10 Dark Machine type monster. 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. Damn. Cannot be normal summon uh, to It must be special. I'm just waiting to hand. see how you summon it. Yeah, keep it must going. be special summon from your hand by banishing cause of monster from your hand whose level equals ten or more and cannot be special summoned by other means. Ew. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, of course, cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. During either player's oh. turn, when a spell card is activated, you can banish one cause of monster in your graveyard to get the activation if you do destroy it. Uh eh. Okay, so pitch him, special summon, uh, fortress. That is fine. Oh, this is kind of a threat. When he declares an attack, you're going to go after Armageddon Knight? All right, I thought I, I was thinking about doing something else cute. But I, I mean, he can't do anything to your Dark Eclipser. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe uh, activating Call and summoning you, Bell, because, I'm, because I can't activate Call during your damage step when he goes off if he's going to crash. So I was going to activate during the attack declaration. Make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> but since he didn't do that and I'm fine, then uh, yeah. That battle on such a great you can target blah, 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 blah. This card is targeted. Look at my hand and pick something out. Ew, fuck you. Fortress. By a monster mm. effect, though. Not by a spell or trap. Yeah. Ew. Fortress is so strong. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's like. I would I would say only recently it's been power creeped because everything starts to not target nowadays. Mm -hmm. But I would say even like a couple months ago, it was still tip at the top, itty top. 
I'm thinking about just maybe just I don't know what I want to do right now. Think about maybe just activating Call of the Haunted, summoning you, Bell, and then Twin Twistering it. Because and then Twin Twister your Coswell Town and your Call of the Haunted, and because Twin yep. Twister is yep. there. Yep. 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 Actually, I might just see if he wants to enable it. So I'm just gonna see if I'm gonna get him because I'm gonna I'm gonna kill that fortress. So I want to know what he wants to target with fortress. Get it with fire. I'll call the haunted. We'll go ahead and send him back you, Bell. Yeah, you, Bell. <clears throat> uh, I need to finish re- reviewing uh, Dank Dish- I mean, Dank Planet. Uh, so, of course, banish a Cosmo, negate a spell. This card will be destroyed by battle by card effect and sent to Gary. You could banish this card from Gary. Right? Add <laughs> one battle. That's funny. Uh, or lower Cosmo monster from your deck to your hand. So it's just like Eclipser, except stupider to summon, and it negates spells instead of traps. Okay, so basically, the only way to kill this thing is with a trap card. Pretty much, because you're probably not going to attack most monster by effects battle. target. It's just going to negate all the spells. So Nigga. it's you basically have to kill it with a trap. Is it a machine? It's a machine, right? Yes. Level ten. Ooh, what if you just had some out of the bound going on with that? Mm-hmm. True, true. Then you can't that even touch it. That seems legit. But... Yeah, I said I was going to do it. Ten, so yep. you can do a, uh, um, what's the freaking malefic cyber end? Mm-hmm. So I guess you're just going to throw it into that quote unquote you bell train deck. Oh, you can't summon it though. Never mind. Mm-hmm. I could throw it in this deck. Uh, sure. Twin Twister, go ahead and pitch. Oops. I really just uh, want to see if Mound of the Bound plus that, that card is actually stoppable. So I will go ahead and summon Terror. And then I'll just go ahead and grab me another Cosmotown because I fuck up my shit and it doesn't matter. <laughs> And summon tear. Uh, I'm not normal summon this turn, have I? Nope. Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> so we're all gonna die anyway. Well, what you could do is you oh. could summon your tin oh. can. I forgot to pitch dark graphic, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did. I forgot. Oops. Oops. Whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, so you could summon your tin can, and can't you choose which effects go off on the end phase? So. Mm-hmm. Wait, no. Ubel is ma- mandatory, right? Ubel. So Ubel is mandatory, so that's always. So it would go a, first uh, automatically? Yep. All right, so never mind. That wouldn't work then. Yeah, Your I'm just going to hold off. Be destroyed. Yeah, I'm just going to hold off for now. But I can do this. My right ear is so lonely. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's a monster control. Yep. Okay. Uh, Thirty-two hundred attack. Let's but it can't do tar- anything. Yeah, it targets synchro monster. I don't even think I have any synchros. Nope. <laughs> Go ahead. So it's just like a thirty-two or thirty-one fifty. I can't remember if it's your life points or your opponents. Uh. Uh-huh. And this card gains tactical to half your life points. So it's 32. 32, okay. Like. And then the girl shit he's not going to ever do. So 32, I mean, that, that's that's pretty power. That's pretty power. I think Endless Decay is your opponent. <laughs> yeah, Endless Decay is your opponent. Uh, so Dark Planet, do I like him? And they're like a pure Cosmo deck, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> the, yeah, the, no. The Banish, the 10, that's too much. That's too much. I think and, if you made like a straight up Dark Planet Cosmo deck, then it'd be viable. <laughs> but like the whole point of the deck would have to be just like a Quasar deck for quick draw dandy and all that. You'd have to like dedicate everything to Dark Planet to really get it to win games consistently. I'm doing it. <laughs> And here I was thinking that you were going to destroy that. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Nah, because I can eat that. You're going to take this 32, boy. Mm. Wait, is it original attack or? It's just attack. Oh. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay. 
Let's go, boys. <laughs> mm. It is destroyed by card effects, so you want to go ahead and play a different one? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. But they're all going to die. Yep. So, go ahead and have Bank Destroyer attack. I remember when these cards used to be pretty good. Uh, back in the days where Black Rose Dragon was like a $30 card. <laughs> <laughs> Love Wicked Witch. I caught people off guard because I was running triple Wicked Witch. I was like, I love her. <laughs> it's a good thing she's Darth, not level three. Darth Maul. <laughs> she's obviously Darth Maul. All right, then we actually have uh, Darth Vader. So uh, Cosmo See, Darth Vader. Here's the thing. You know more about Star Wars than me, and I've actually seen the movies. <laughs> and I've never seen a single movie. <laughs> Not a single one. I mean, granted, so, I saw them when I was like 10, but I still saw them. Nope. <laughs> so, Cosmo Dark Lady, level 5, dark psychic type effect monster, 2200 attack, 1800 defense. Uh, okay. Dark Lady player's turn, you can this card by summon one level 6 or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You only use this effect of Cosmo Dark Lady once per turn. Once per turn, during either player's turn, when another monster effect is activated, you can pay 1000 life points and negate the activation if you do destroy that monster. Can you read that again? Pay a thousand light points when a monster effect is activated, negate and destroy it. Uh, <laughs> how much attack does it have? 22. 2200 okay. attack, 1800 defense. That's manageable. Because you can just exceed into like, even Abyss Dweller could run that over with Norden. So that's, that's manageable. But it's oh, still annoying. I mean, but Abyss Dweller running shit over, she's not a ship. She's a pilot, so she hops out the way. Oh, right. Nope, she's, a, she's a level 5 pilot. That's what's catching you off guard. Mm -hmm. So you need to go, oh, you, you know, I truly <laughs> doubt you're ever going to tribute something to her, so you got to pilot into her. Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay. So she's basically the monarch of the deck. Yep. I think she's pretty good, especially since you can go ahead and slide that powerful Monarch Stormforth, so it's not just yeah, Slip Rider anymore. Yeah, oh my good. god, Stormforth, no. Yeah, Stormforth, That's gonna yes. Be I actually Stormforth. think Stormforth should be hit, to be honest. I do too. I think that uh, Pantheism and Stormforth should be hit. I don't care about Domain. I don't give two shits about Domain. Especially I think playing Domain Dome. carries the deck. That's what I think. Yeah. Like domain, domain, I think would hurt a little bit too much. Like Reducing that le those level 8s to 6s is actually a very uh, relevant thing. <laughs> Bless me. Yep, bless you. So I think she, out of all the cards, I think she's the best. All right. Uh, next we have Cosmo Fearful Lion. That's obvious. This card's <laughs> probably gonna suck. <laughs> oh, uh, I think it, I think it sucks. <laughs> I definitely think it sucks. Um, it's level two. Suck. Yeah, level two light psychic effect type monster, twelve hundred attack, five hundred defense. During either player's turn, special summon monsters higher than it, so three or higher. Use that effect once per turn. Once per turn, you could pay 500 life points, then target three banished Cosmo monsters, uh, return them to the grave, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Uh, side deck at best. <laughs> it's like you got like a shitty ass bar bar. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, I mean, I would see, you can't even say that you would use it for time because Cosmo need to pay life points to function in the first place. Yeah, so it's not like you make them have less life points than you. Ah, one, two, destroy, three, four. Eclipse, five, six, slip. I will take either one of these. I, I really don't care. They're all good. Uh, then we actually have the, the card that reveals it all and kind of spoils Star Wars like a son of a bitch. Uh, it's called Cause Mourning, and the card art is literally Farm Girl mourning over the body of uh, of Dark Lady with her helmet off. Oh. <laughs> uh, Darth Vader totally isn't Luke's father. <laughs> uh, spoiler. That didn't look like 20 years old. Uh, spoiler. Uh, roll a die for me. Like spoilers that go on the back of cars? I need, I need you to roll a die for me. Like... I need you to do it. I can't do it. You got to do it. So I'm kind of just waiting for you to do something. 
hey, this game isn't about interacting with your opponent, all right? That's not what it's about. It's about solitaire. All right, so uh, Cause Morning is a continuous track that reads, Monsters destroyed in battle uh, by Cosmic Monsters you control are shuffled into the deck instead of going to the graveyard. Hmm. I think that's a good side bet card. Because, like, if you're yeah. playing against Burning Abyss or something, mm -hmm. I mean, unless it's a Dante, right? Then everything you yeah, kill is going to be like... I, yeah, because I would just go back to the extra deck. Uh, how does that work? So instead of going to the graveyard, so that means Pendulum Monsters just go back to the extra deck anyway, right? They will go back they, to the deck. The Pendulum would? Monsters only go to the extra deck when they're checking the graveyard. Otherwise, they just go where the card says. Okay, okay. So that's pretty nice. Then better than uh, going back to extra deck. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, you can bash this card from your graveyard this turn. The first time you would take battle damage from a battle involving a cosmic monster, you gain that life points instead. Listen, Stonesy. No one eats fish and chips. Ever. That's like... Where do you, I forget where he lives. Brenton, somewhere Tell me Brenton. where you live so I can insult you better. <laughs> <laughs> I would love Monarchs to die. Like, I think Monarchs are my least favorite of all the, the most competitive decks. I'd say Cosmos are my favorite. And that Monarchs doesn't let you play. Like, I have no problem with Cosmo whatsoever. And it might shock people, but that's because you could do whatever you want to a Cosmo deck. Like, mm -hmm. what are they going to do about it? Sure. Hey, don't, fo don't fuck with that Cosmo Joe, though. That card's power. I love Cosmo Joe. <laughs> Man, Cosmo Joe meet my twin twister. Anyway. Yeah, you true. True. A Cosmo deck. You like I've never run into a Cosmo deck and say, "Damn, I can't play." I mean, you go, "Am I safe?" Sure. You you know, if you don't do enough on your turn, you might not be safe. But I, I've never seen, you know, a six samurai player not be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh just because it's Cosmos. True. True. Whereas a monarch deck, just because they're monarchs, you can't use your deck. Always set during main phase two. Not that it would save you, but always set during main phase two. Yeah. I've actually seen there was it's only <laughs> happened once, but I saw where a guy set everything in main phase one, attacked into a malevolent catastrophe. It was beautiful. Ooh, Ooh that's what you get. <laughs> Alright, and I believe that there's actually one more Cosmo card that wasn't in the fucking set. You just set that. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Uh, I forgot. Cosmo Walker. That was the other card. Let me let me search that up, because I know it wasn't in the reveal of the other cards. But I, I, I think that card was, I want to say, okay. Walker? Yeah, Cosmo Walker. Which, I mean, think about it. What Can you guess what it, what it is? Skywalker is my best bet. No, not not the last name, like the actual image. It's a machine. You remember them uh, walkers that they fought on that ice planet in their... Oh, um, like the big camera family guy made fun of? Yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, Cosmo Walker, 2400 attack, 1200 defense, dark machine type monster. Uh, so, uh, what was that, level 6? Level 6. Uh, didn't say in the description. Man, uh, I think if, you'd be level 12. Get out of here. Nope, level six. Uh, if one or more of your Cosmo cards will be destroyed by battle or opponent's card effects, you could destroy a different Cosmo card you control instead. Garbage. What do you mean that's garbage? I mean, you don't generally destroy, but think about it. If you come after oh, my yeah. Cosmo Let card... stop my Dark Destroyer from getting destroyed, because it totally doesn't do anything when that happens. Hey, 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 but that, but that, no, 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 I'm going to tell you this play, and you're going to be yeah. like, wait, never mind, that's actually pretty power. So I go first turn Tin Can, right? And I have him on the field. You try to come after my Tin Can, instead of destroying my Tin Can, let me just go ahead and destroy that Cosmo Town instead. I don't like it. <laughs> and then the whole floaty effect when it's destroyed, uh, banish it, and special summon level 5 or lower Cosmo Monster from your deck. So I'd say the best is is uh, definitely um, obviously you're gonna go ahead and contact with my yeah yeah the pilot that's fine 
oh, damn, you actually want to fuck up my fucking farm girl. I can just go ahead and hop out the way and, you sh- and your shit fizzles. You probably know that you can talk about those monsters and send both together and blah, blah, blah. I will go ahead and turn. And then your shit will fizzle. Mm, yeah. And get rid of that Gagaga. What is that? Sorcerer? Uh, magician. Magician, right. I knew that. So if he doesn't send, he doesn't summon, right? Target one uh, of those monsters. Does it say and then if you do? Or does it say When your opponent would normal summon a special summon a monster, colon. Target one of those monsters, one of your spell catchers you control, semicolon. And then I chain. Send both to the graveyard, then special summon. So I don't think he would summon, right? Uh I would say he doesn't summon. I don't think you summon. But there are some cards that the first effect doesn't have to resolve for the second effect to happen. So well, I'm not cards. Sure. Target those spellcaster monsters, semicolon, sem- semicolon. So you target both. The targeting them. is this cost. The cost. Quote unquote cost. Uh, send both of them to the graveyard, then you can special sub. But he didn't send them both to the graveyard. So does he need to resolve that? The cost is already done. The cost is targeting. Now it's just in a matter of yeah. can he resolve the second part of the effect? Uh, can the you first part resolve can, the second part? You know. Resolve the second part of the fact if you did oh you know what I don't think he can I, 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 I don't think so. the reason I say this is because it says send both monsters to the grave I think if it said send them to the grave then he could but like that little part saying send both monsters that you know, like, pushing me towards very Fine. That's pushing me towards he probably can't. But it, I mean, this is a tournament I would call over a judge, but for now it's yeah. fine. I'm going to go ahead and use dark effect for the slip effect. <clears throat> Finish this slip. Pick you up with another farm girl. And this is the reason why we run two farm girls, damn it. Let's get all these decks that run one farm girl. Fuck that, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When did people stop running three farm girl? When they started to do, do uh, Cosmo Tin Can Turbo. They put they put farm girl down to one in their decks. Oh well, I guess they have Etelli, so technically it's like four farm girls. Shit, but you know how I mean, many times you know I, I was play testing the deck before I fucking asked Sherman. Yeah, you know I mean I think I lost. Oh, I didn't lose, but the duel took like two duels longer because I ended up either drawing the farm girl or I already used her, and then I had Etelli. I was like, all right, so yeah, I'm gonna go in. I, I farm girl one had. is not enough. One's no. definitely not enough. Like fuck that. Like, y'all got me fucked up. I think that is game. I think this is game. Yeah. Dr. Star is such an enabler. Dr. Star needs to be hit. Uh, he, 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 is, he is an enabler beyond compare. Just with this floaty ass fucking pop your own shit, battle your own shit. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't know if it's just the decks I play, but I never have a huge issue with it. What the fuck? Probably the decks I play. Did I, okay, I know I'm not on crack. Did I just forget to put Forerunner in this bitch? I think I forgot to put Forerunner in this bitch. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I mean, I still win, but I think I forgot to put Forerunner in here. Oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm, bad. I'm guessing people only run like one now. Yeah. Only one, one. But I, I'm just, I, I just, I just, never I'm just completely forgot. Like, that's bad. Holy shit, like, where is he? <laughs> call the Hunted is a big enabler, too. Like, if you want to get a nice indirect hit, you can go ahead and hit fucking Call, because that shit's ridiculous, too. But I don't think so. I'd say Emergency Teleport and Dark Destroyer need to be hit. All right. You want you telling right. to be hit again? Yeah, one. It should have been hit to one in the first oh. place. Fucking idiots. But psychics. No, fuck your psychic. Sorry. Wow. Yeah, I did. I totally forgot Forerunner. I mean, I kind of made this fucking deck on the spot, like in a couple minutes, because I already knew what the, the fucking put in this deck, and I just completely forgot. Like, wow, that's 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 bad. That's bad. All right, I'm, I'm gonna build a deck to play you against or play against. I'm probably not. Remember again, because I'm kind of getting sick and tired of already typing out shit. That's fine. This deck isn't. The most competitive in the world, anyway. Um, Shit, I, I can still put in work, but it's just. 
you know. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on Super Vice until I get that good shit. Until I get that card. Ooh. This card is nice. Let's go ahead and play Fonzo's deck since Fonzo's here. <laughs> Hey, don't fuck with that Cosmo, you bell. I did the play once. <laughs> but once again, it's, it's, it's just you bell thrown in with fucking uh, Cosmos. So that's not the most creative you bell deck, but I mean, with nowadays, what is? <laughs> it's just whatever you bell has synergy with, just throw it in. You should try throwing in you bell with the new Exodia cards. See if that works. Because technically, you bell can stall pretty well. True, true. I swear to God, now if you're using the fucking galaxy eyes, I will kill you. <laughs> please so, be galaxy eyes. Please be galaxy eyes. Please be galaxy eyes. So sick and tired of seeing galaxy eyes. What? But he has a whole galaxy in his eyes. Don't you just want to give him an interview? I gotta put that Pokemon cipher. I mean, that galaxy eye cipher. <laughs> Interviews. Oh, no, not Dark Magicians. Uh, I mean, Dark Magicians is hella easy to beat, though. And before you get wrecked by Dark Magicians. I mean, if you opened up well enough, I mean, it, it won't be the Dark Magicians. It'll be the back row that wrecks me. But it's really easy to beat them because they have one blaring weakness. And if you take care of that weakness real quick, then the deck just falls apart. Is it the spell card? Yeah, it's Circle. The spot banishing is so good. I mean, look how quick he grabbed that, you know. All right, go ahead and banish the top, top three. This man's looking at his deck. You should have banished the top three. Like, you, you did that wrong. Face down. <laughs> Fail. Fail. <laughs> No, no, not face up. Don't reveal it to me. I'm not supposed to look. You're only supposed like to if, not this, not If he wallet. banishes it face down, then Dueling Network will still let him see the images when he yeah. hovers his mouse over them. So you can see. I'm not supposed to see. So, I mean, I guess one of them is Dark Magician, which I, I'm assuming you can't grab because it has to list Dark Magician in the text. And I, I don't think Dark Magician lists Dark Magician in the text. <laughs> the, the name is the part of the card text. Oh, it counts? I'm pretty I sure. I thought it yeah. text of the card. Card's name Dark Magician is in its text. Okay. Yeah, the name should count. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to grab Dark Magician, I wouldn't. Because... I have uh, navigation. Yeah. What you grabbing? I forgot what we were talking about. Uh, you you have to reveal what you had. <clears throat> I have to confirm that that has that condition in its text. Sorry. I'm just trying to put together this deck. So that when you finish this duel, I can wreck you with it. All right, all right. <laughs> I seriously forgot what the fuck we were talking about. Let's right. talk about chocolate covered pretzels. Uh, I don't know what they are. So there you go. I like pretzels. I don't like chocolate though. What kind of chocolate? Dark chocolate. I'm chocolate. I'm trying. I'm trying not to take a plane, fly to, what is it, Arizona, or wherever you are. Uh, you know, go GTA San Andreas all over your neighborhood. I'm trying not to. Arizona? I don't live in Arizona. Wherever you live. Nevada, Vegas. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona, Nevada, same thing. They're both near Breaking Bad area. Damn. Damn. Uh, uh, I kind of want to just get Bear and then just have Bear throw the chair. 
Because I'm going to bait the shit out of you. Like, that's pretty much my job right now, is to bait the shit out of you. Especially with this Twin Turret Stone Blow, you yeah, like, so you're going to yeah. activate that Eternal Soul, and you're going to activate that fucking, uh, 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 and I'm popping the turn of soul in your circle, so I'm gonna hold on to this turn of Like the play, the, the plays are too obvious. The deck pretty much plays during your opponent's turn and makes it plays too blatantly obvious. That's why I don't like Dark Visions as a competitive deck. I'm gonna go into battle. Come after your ass. You know, I just realized does does Dark Magicians get completely wrecked by Denko? <clears throat> oh, Tracy is a thing. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't really need the wrong. Oh, it's been so long since I used this deck that there's so many new good cards out. So the plays are too obvious. Now I get rid of your Dark Magic Circle, which I don't have to worry about you banishing my shit anymore. But I got rid of that insurance. That's it. Get rid of that Dark Magic Circle. Tunnel Soul. Yep. See? See? Look how easy that was to handle. The well, I mean, you have Twin Twister. That's what I'm saying. The, the Eternal Soul is too obvious. Dark Magic Circle, you get rid of that, and they don't even spot banish you during your turn. Like, the deck just slows down to complete screech and halt. So go ahead and take this 17. I'll go ahead and set this Torrential Shrivia, and uh, yeah. Draw Dark Magician too easily. Hopefully he has another circle. You're gonna have a hard time. I don't have to worry about fucking. You got it. You got it. You got it. Ah! You got it. I don't remember what the fuck we were talking Bear. about. They're so good. I, I think you're talking about Cosmo, but then we finished the card review. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Like Dangerous Destroyer. Because Dangerous Destroyer is too much of a enabler. Like. I, I have no problem with Dark Eclipse. I have no dark problem with Dark Planet. These or Forerunners, like Omega said it the best. You know, there's no problem with them powerful monsters that uh that you can't. They're strong. You can't target. But then when you get Dark Star, who spot pops, including your own monsters, to allow for pushing for more powerful plays and OTKs, that's when it starts to get to be a problem. You know, I definitely think it's the enabler. Yeah, but I don't know. I I think. Dealing with an OTK deck is far easier than dealing with like a lockdown deck. That's the thing. Like there are so many cards in the game that could stop an OTK. But but you know how I am. I'm a I'm 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 a conservative I'm a conservative player who believes that everybody should get it. Like this ban list clearly sucks because only one deck got it. Yeah. You know, that like was if Monarchs got some, Cosmos got more. Like reasoning the one, I'm fine with that. I wish emergency teleport went down one. Like, like I do not fucking understand how you how OCG put emergency teleport to one, and they don't even have Cosmos. I don't think they ever brought it up, did they? Yeah, it, they had it at three, and then their last list for their April list, they put it back down to one. Oh well, they might be getting Cosmos soon. That's the only reason I can think. Oh, well, they have the super quantum cards too. Yeah. So well, do we have those now? I can't even. We have, we have, we have super quantum. Because okay. I remember the, the Super Quantum Turbo thing uh, did a little bit for like a second. But it got hit. It's consistency got I need to look up that new Raid Raptor card because I hear it's a Tower 2.0, but I've still never read it. Ultimate Falcon? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a 3,500 beater whose first effect reads it's unaffected by all card effects. So it's killable, but you just have to beat it in battle. Yeah, and then it, it can revive itself, too. Because the card that you use to get Force, you can banish it and a Raid Raptor monster to summon a Raid Raptor XC monster back from the graveyard. So summon it back after you kill it. Which generally people only run one Utopia of the Lightning. So I'm not sure if I want to get it tanky because I'm whoa, kind of whoa, feeling I'm just reading this. Feel. This thing drops everything by a thousand and your opponent can't activate anything. And it doesn't even say when this runs out. Oh, okay, never mind. It does. Next sentence. Okay. Scoop. End of this turn. Damn. 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 Damn, man. Damn. Damn. See? Oh. See? See? That's too easy. Stop, like I said, you stop that eternal soul, you stop that circle, deck is done. 
There's a reason why uh, Dark Magician is not one of the competitive decks. It's fun to play with. I definitely give it that. It's fun to play with, but holy, are you seeing this hand? Yeah, it's it's too prone to Brick City. Mm-hmm. And you're too you're the the major plays, your eternal soul, your your dark magic circle, they're too prone to being popped by back row. Sorry, I got the twin twister though. Maybe I won't get it this duel. No, I didn't get this duel. So this duel might be a little bit more interesting, especially since you'll be banishing my shit. That's if you got your dark magic circle. So, Let's definitely see. Dr. Star, definitely Emergency Teleport. Because that card's also an enabler, especially with Tin Can, too. That just increases the consistency of Tin Can. You should have put that on the one. That should have been your one indirect hit. Similar yeah, to I would have definitely hit Tin Can. Like, I can agree on Tin Can. That card's... I think that card's better than the Destroyer for the deck. I'm just worried about the consistency. I'm trying, I'm trying to hurt the deck, not kill Man, it. I think any deck that has... I don't want to say the nerve, but it's the best way I can put it for now. Any deck that has the nerve to run so many high-level monsters should have the possibility of breaking consistently. Like, but they I, already I have think, Cosmo Town to basically say, oh, I mean, it, 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 wouldn't it be the same like, thing? Cosmo Town. Because you essentially use your, nowadays, you use your emergency teleport for your Tin Can. It's not really Farm Girl. I mean, she's there, but it's mostly Tin Can. Well, that's because people are going first now. Yeah, so just lower the consistency of even you pulling off that play. I think that would be the fine for the second hit. Just emergency teleport to like one, and then maybe like Dr. Stray or like one or two. Yeah, because I definitely noticed that after Tin Can came out, like a lot of Cosmo players just... I I used to play against Cosmo, and they would take... Sometimes they would take one or two turns to get out of their brick, which I think was a balancing factor, because that's the risk you take when you play Cosmo. But now there's like no risk because you're yes, running tin can. The three tin can, the e tellies, the farm girl. Like you just have so many more ways to get out of your situation. True, so. true. And then Cosmojo. I don't know. I Is it just me or when people have Cosmojo, they just don't always use it. They just let it die. They mostly just let it die. It's a very powerful card. I love Cosmo, yo. Like, I was but like, whenever I, I three. whenever I pop it with something, they just never chain it. So I guess even, it, even though they it don't can feel it's something. worth... I guess they don't feel that it's worth to pop their own monster, even to float to a, a lower level monster, because they'd rather just yeah. float off of your destruction. Make sense? Yeah. I guess they want you to f- want to force you to get rid of the thing instead of doing the work for them. The monarch hit her easy. Uh, like I said, uh, Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss, something needs to happen. Dante, I'm sorry. You need to go to one. Like, I, I heard I, from I Burning Abyss. I said but, Dante needs to go to one since mm-hmm. before Necros got hit. Like, when Necros was full power and I was making my bandless video, I said a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff that actually came true, by the way, I- including Cardahawk. I called that, like, a long time ago. But anyway... I still call it Dante needs to go to one. Little shameless self promotion. What does this card do? Fire King Island? No, no, no. I'm reading something in my deck. Oh. Because I'm still building that deck. I say, you don't know what Fire King Island does? Like, bruh. (laughs) Fire King Island's fucking power. You have Fire King Island. Where's my Laval Volcano? I want to feel spell too. You know what? I, I'm going to make a fake card. Sure. It's going to evolve Volcano. When you activate this card, add Rekindling from your deck or graveyard to your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I can see it now. Terraforming. What's up, Omega? We're just talking about the competitiveness of Yu-Gi-Oh! While playing Fire King, slapping the shit out of Mal, who's playing Dark Magician because his deck is not good. It's so inconsistent. <laughs> so, I'm assuming that you're going to grab that Eternal Soul. I forgot Navigate. Just grab Eternal Soul. Hmm. 
Oh, I just had the best idea ever. Oh, this is going to suck for anyone I play against. Or diamond down here. Yeah. Actually, let me read this. All right. Ooh. Ooh. If he has something to stop my diamond dire wolf, he might actually have something. Oh, I got Castell and shit. I'm still... My plays are still fine. Do you think Castell is too generic? Yes. But then, no. I'm not saying it's necessarily... Like, do I think he's too generic? Yes. Do I think he should get hit? No. Yeah, I'm not saying he should get hit, but... I think they could have done a better job... Like it's 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 overly staple in my opinion. Yeah. In my opinion, there should never be a card that unquestionably goes in every deck. Hey. <laughs> yep. Most of those cards are banned. True, true. You know, there's no chain, there's no exiton, so I mean Castell's pretty much next in line. It's right. funny because uh on DevPro I was using the the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. And mm -hmm. I would just make Castell and I would set stuff face down and run over people for game with Blue Eyes. People sleep on that second effect of Castell to just set monsters. True, true. And you know what I also realized? Uh, Brilliant Fusion with the Gem Knight card. That's a one card ancient sacred wavering. So there's, and with the extra normal summon, it's basically a free sake, ancient sacred waver. And so if, if you're running certain decks that can capitalize off of a life point difference, brilliant fusion into ancient sacred waver can actually be in and of itself, like a one card go for gameplay. I'm kind of mad. I'm mad. I'm kind, I almost said I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad that now it didn't do anything because I was, I was anticipating him to do something. God, this fucking sucks. So he can burn my. You have face. all the back row and you can't use it because nothing's happening. Yeah. All right. I know what I want to do, but then at the same time, I don't. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> all right. There's a play I want to do, but I'm going to get fucked up because he could chain to it. But then there's a play. But if I don't do anything, then he's going to go activate Eternal Soul, summon Dark Vision, and then activate Eternal Soul, search Dark Magic Attack, and fuck up all oh, my, my shit. My logic is if you can force your opponent to do something before they draw, it's always better. Okay. Because once they draw, they have more options. I'm, I'm definitely going to get a fucking uh, Eternal Soul and get spot banished with, uh, with Dark Magician. And of course, nothing that I do is like a quick play spell like that, so. So all he has to do is just wait until I go into like Diamond Dyer or something. I'm gonna get fucked up. I wish I had Circle right now. If I had Circle, then I might have a play. Okay. This isn't good. Like I'm pretty much gonna try to get down with all my plays as I possibly can. But no, I think I think in the end I'm still gonna get fucked. Like this isn't good. I drew both tankies, so that's not good. I mean, of course, he's my Fire King Island because that's going to get popped. I can go ahead and summon Garunix. And I can do, do double Garunix, but I'm still going to get banished during the next turn. Does he have any Dark Magicians in the graveyard? No, he doesn't. That's good. So I'm just mad that he didn't do anything. Like, it fucking sucks. Oh. Oh, that'd be power. Go into Kara Gorgon. When a card effect that, that targets exactly one card in the field it activates, I can, if he summons Dark Magician and tries to banish me, I could just flip it around and banish him. Ooh. Pretty power. Pretty power. Cause if I know I'm about to go into like, if I go into like Diamond Dyer or Castell, he's just going to activate Eternal Soul and spot banish me, you know? Yeah. 
Well, you can go for it. Hopefully, there's no solemn back there or bottomless. I said I still have plays. It's just I don't know what I want to do, you know? Okay. I'm the kind of player who always likes to force out all my opponent's options. Uh, so fuck it. I guess I'll just go ahead and go into like Diamond Dyer or something like that and bait him because Karen Gorgon doesn't really matter because of the play that I'm going to do next turn because I'm going to wipe my field. Not him, but I'm going to wipe my field. I'm going I'm to get hit with Dark Magic Attack in both. I know that's going to happen. It's going to suck. Sometimes I wish there was like a rank four that stopped banishing for a turn. Go ahead and say on summon eternal soul, Tony Soul summon the Dark Magician. Yep. Yep, saw that coming. Yep, yep, yep. Ducky, land before time. No, I don't want to talk about Ducky. That's sad. What? Did Ducky die or something? The voice actor did. Really? Oh, right in the childhood. Um, I don't think he... Does he count a Dark Magician in the hand? Um, hold on, hold on. His hold name on. isn't Dark Magician. His name isn't Dark Magician in hand. Oh, no, he's training his effect. He's training his effect because he activated the spell card special summon him. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Like I said, I might as well do all of the plays that I can because I am definitely going to get hit with that Dark Magic attack next turn. That sucks. Really sucks. I can only activate one tanky, of course. Uh, thinking about go ahead and activating Fire King Island, popping my Yaksha. No. Can you summon your Garunix right now? Yeah, uh, but I can't at all. Because if you can, like, what does the trap card do again? Does it stop destruction once per turn or just period? Period. It just makes some dark magicians unaffected by card effects. Okay, I was going to say if, if it was once per turn, then you could destroy it twice, but I guess you can't. Not once per turn. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Well, you probably just have to pass. Okay, I have to be fire can destroy. Because I'm probably going to go ahead and circle next turn. Think about activating Fire King Island, destroying my Barong, adding whatever. Barong will go off and get me circled next turn. I have the onslaught. I can set the Yaksha, which will, of course, summon me another runic, so... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, <clears throat> I don't even know what I want to add. I guess I can just add another Grinix. To fly. I'm okay right now. It's just I'm about to get blown the fuck back. So that's not great. Where's Twin Twister when you need it? Where is the Twin Twister when you need it? You know? Go ahead and hit me with that Dark Magic attack. Oh. Oh, dark Magician, so powerful. Okay. Let's have something, right? One day I'm just going to make... Like, one day when the format shifts more towards back row again. I'm just going to make like a wing beat, a giant dragon slash dark magic attack deck. And just <laughs> wreck back row all day. Prisma, send dark magician, activate dark magic attack. <laughs> Damn straight. And wing beat, a dragon, gi giant dragon is probably one of my favorite cards. So I just want an excuse to use it. Oh, true, 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 true. Uh, keep on forgetting about that. Ah. I think that doesn't go off that often, so I keep on forgetting. You want to know a fun fact about Fire Kings? What? 
They actually named the archetype. Get this. They named the archetype after my mixtape. <laughs> it's true. You can call them. Call Konami. See what they say. It's all your comment on that, uh, that Machamp. Which comment? I left like four. <laughs> I, oh, I saw one of them. <laughs> Did you really like that rap? Of course. Damn, it sucks. Fucking dedication. That's like the last cut I wanted to see. That really sucks. That hinders. That hurts me a lot. Look at this ban worthy card. Not only do you bust out fucking <laughs> Enoch, but you also fucking get to have a dark. Ma- Does, he doesn't count as dark mission in the grave, right? I don't think so. Oh, uh, does it? Unless it says in the grave, then no. No, he's only dark mission on the field. Okay. That's actually pretty good. So as long as he doesn't have a dark magician in hand, I might be okay. Because of course, Yasha's, I mean, going to come back, wipe him, and then I can proceed to just go in, especially with Circle. I think that might be game. It's uh, 17, 2000. I need to find an excuse to use awesome. Uh What did he have? I think he added another dedication. Yeah, he had a dedication. Ah, yep, I win. Yeah. Be lost. Not that he's banished when he leaves the field. Yeah. Yep. 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 You yep, yep. lost. Your plays were good, but you ran out of steam. Yep. Just like dark positions do. Choo choo. Yep. But no, seriously, you thought that McCamp was really got good? Yeah. Why? You didn't? <laughs> I, I I got sick of the 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 chorus. Flex on you, trainers, my champ. Flex. <laughs> wait, wait, flex on you, trainers, my champ. I also don't I like, like that. It. It's I think it's addicting. I also, out of all the people on the Pokemon cipher, I didn't really like CTC's verse. So, though, so when he was in there, the same uh, one who's on the Machamp one. Yeah. I can't remember. Was he one? Who started with Landorus? Yeah, he was the one with... Well, he didn't start with Landorus, but he did. Oh! He had one of the best ones! What no, are you talking so. about? I didn't think so. What? It seemed like he was just doing Pokemon references just to do Pokemon references, and I didn't like that. Like, no, I, I, no, no, get out of here. No, I didn't you're, like CTCs. Get out of it. You're done. I didn't, I, I didn't like CTCs. You're, you're I like, done. I like Archers. I like... Get... I Listen, like that. He definitely had one of the top four in that whole song. Hell no, top yes. four? No, no, not top. Four. Yes, like man is Archer top was three better of the cipher variety. Was better. Scoot was better. Shofu was better. Matt was better. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'm not about to sit here, bring out the pen and paper, and like go over this like it's a book in AP English class or something. It's, <laughs> this is like, not you know, happening. No. <laughs> I want. I want to see if there's any chat about that. What in the? No. Nobody no one wants saying, to talk about it. It's no okay. one. No one's saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> no one's saying shit. All right, this deck is almost done. I got like a couple cards left. Oh, I, f- I forgot you were doing that deck. I actually got another duel. I know. I didn't say anything because I wasn't done. Oh, okay. Uh, I just have to update it now with cards that actually matter. Take out all these old cards and put in some new ones. Mm, like this one. Oh, by the way, does um does Google do uh copyright on music when you do streams? Yes. Another reason to do Twitch. Hmm. 
Uh, oh, this is pretty good. Oh, so many cards I want to run. But oh, no damn. Room. Damn. Thank you, Mal. Thank you. Did you read what Mal said? Hold on. Hold on. This better not be about the Pokemon thing. It's about the Pokemon rap. Bro! <laughs> yep, yep, thank you. And Scoot was good. No, no. No, no, no. I can't say Scoot I enjoyed the most, because Shofu fucking killed it. But, of course, the race is Like He came out the end and just blew it out the water. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> okay, yes, he did, but that doesn't mean... What's his name? CT? That doesn't mean CTC was bad. I don't like I, like, I personally, he was... Every time his comes on, I listen, like, extra hard. No, uh, I don't. I don't like CTC. Like that. That part is when I really start to like get into the cipher. He's he, well, he's not that fun. Damn. So you just said fuck Archer, huh? I like Archer. I, I'm not saying I didn't like any of them, but like well, that because he was one of my favorite ones. So naturally, when his like when his comes on, I'm gonna listen closer. I also like how Archer. I, I haven't listened to it in a while though, so I can't really say. Um, I remember uh, all of them that well. I think it, I, I I have it in my iTunes though. So damn, that's fucking broken. That's fucking broken. Cause fucking Archer, Archer grew. Like you remember uh, Savamal? Yeah. Fucking Archer sounded like a little kid in that one, but then he actually started sounding like an actual adult in the later ciphers. I like Savamal. Was he even in all of them? I don't think so. Who? I think the very first one was just like Scoot and Chef. Yeah. Yeah. And then then started being other people like uh, uh, Archer. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? Ha- hashtag Yu Gi Oh Cypher. Let's go. Let's do we it. Could. It would be a Let's lot of it. effort. We could do it. And Let's if, do what, it. What, What's happening? Have we have, have to have token black first. We have to have token black Yu Gi Oh guy though. <laughs> we'll message him. You heard it here first. It's happening. It's official. <laughs> Time to get the pen and paper out. <laughs> you better bring your B game <laughs> so I can look better than you. No, no, I'm about to have the best verse. No, you're not. Nah, 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 nah. Because we're about to bring that rekindling. Damn. Damn. I, 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 I saw that play from a mile of fucking way. <laughs> oh, like, get that floaty shit fucking effect out of here. Utopia. Yeah, now it's black. <laughs> I remember because we were so offended that one upset Daily Duels or it was me and Mal and, that, and our opponent called us niggers. <laughs> There's oh, a song yeah, I know. There's a song I know, but it's so racist, but it's so awesome. It's a cotton picking song. <laughs> it's a cotton picking song. <laughs> That's man. All right, I'm gonna see if I remember how it goes. <clears throat> uh. Oh Lordy, pick a bale of cotton, baby. Oh Lordy, pick a bale of day. Oh, Lordy, pick a bale of cotton, baby. Oh, Lordy, pick a bale of day. Gonna beat my wife, gonna pick a bale of cotton, baby. Beat my wife, gonna pick a bale of day. Beat my wife, gonna pick a bale of cotton, baby. Beat my wife, gonna pick a bale of day. Oh, Lordy, pick a bale of cotton, baby. Oh, Lordy, pick a bale of day. I can't remember the rest. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't too racist. It's just a lot of domestic violence and cotton picking. <laughs> what? That's like that's the best song of all time. I used to <laughs> sing it all the time. I think it was an actual I, I, I slave a song. That, that, that cart was going to be called "Hunted" because all the all the he set in the store was called "Hunted." Go dude. So maybe you turn into Unk, Unky, because Danklaw ain't going to do shit. So. Shit. Unless you have some way of doing something with Denclaw. Yeah, shut that, Anki. That's fine. (sighs) 
I mean, I have to summon. So, <clears throat> but at least I know that my Grunix will come back and fuck shit up. So, I remember when Grunix first came out and was so 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 good. You better start some background because if you don't, that's Game Boy. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, that caught me off guard. I mean, that's still game. <clears throat> Didn't you know Kaius is like the best card in 2010? Yeah. I remember when Kaius used to be splashing everything. <laughs> oh, what's up, Ryan? <laughs> sure. This stream is going by super fast. <laughs> but no, we talked yeah, about it. Been? Uh, almost an hour and a half. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even paying attention to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. We're just talking. Uh, no, I, I don't know. See, so that's why I was, as soon as I saw, I, I heard that CTC was going to be on there. I was kind of like, Neh, you know, his, his worst in the match champ one wasn't bad though. It's just I didn't really like the course. What do you mean it wasn't bad? It was amazing. Nah, Canada and shit like that. He was kind of pushing it. He was spinning the words in his favor. It's not I like the I, rules. I, I think I think my favorite line was the barbaric the barbarical on just two hands. So I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know you like that one. I don't get it. He's like, I'm just two hands. I'm like, oh, because he's hands. I get it. I get it. That, 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 was, yes. that, was, pretty that was pretty fire. Yes. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go home more in the offensive and destroy Grunix. I was thinking about destroying you bell and something terror, but I want to go more in the offensive right now. Actually, I could have went and that and did Diamond Direwolf and then Pop Terra and some Ultra Nightmare. I could have done that, but it's cool. Let's see. My favorite cipher is 2012 with Shofu and Scoot. What'd you play? Dark Motherfucking Fusion. Oh, it's Evil Hero, you bell. Okay. Ooh, I just had the best idea. Oh, no, Reasoning's Fun. Limited. No. <laughs> yep. The, you know it's bad when you're about to make like a trollish deck and then reasoning's limited. It just shows you how dumb that card is. Why would you summon guy, dark guy at the time? Time, all right. Chain, call the hunter. That's fine. Oh my god! Fucking you, Bell. Mirror match is so stupid. I hate you, Bell. Facing you, Bell. I mean, I can handle you, Bell, right? The fuck now? But it's just so fucking annoying to fucking deal with you, Bell, as Evil Master. It's like, ah, uh, like why you use you, Bell, against me? You hate yourself. True, true. <laughs> Seek I therapy. Mean, I mean, I'm fucking Evil Master, so I can handle you, Bell, with any situation. Like, I'm still gonna fuck you up. Like, you're still gonna get fucked because I have Wolf Bark. So, <sighs> so unless you have a fact in your hand, you're probably gonna get this dick. Or damn. Sorry, I got you Bell's weakness right here. Gone. And you get an ultimate nightmare. Hey. I know it sucks. I hate it too. But shit happens. I'm sitting over here with fucking you Bell and ultimate nightmare in my hand though. So I ain't doing shit. <clears throat> hmm. Say I don't I don't know it's my favorite. I say I like I like Savile Mall because I had a fire chorus. Like I, I don't I, I don't like Flex and Champ. I like that chorus, but Savile Mall I don't that that, that, no, that me, chorus. Let me just scroll through see if I can remember. Uh, I like I like Elite Six. I like TM eighty seven. I like that one too. I oh, like... TM eighty seven was probably one of my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that ending. <laughs> well, I can't remember the ending. What was the ending like? Uh, I'm from Pallet Town. You're from the Barrio. When I see some pussy, I'll be a little 
up like Lucario, Pokemon's my world, I masturbate to Pokegirls, and Pokemon's the best game ever made, fuck Mario. Oh, see, I, I wasn't a huge Pokemon versus Mario person, so. <laughs> it's just like, oh, damn. Uh, I really don't have any plays. Like, I guess I'll just go ahead and attack. Like, uh, this, this video is a million views now and only 243 dislikes. What else do I like? Of course I like that Pokeroll. My like Pokeroll's power. I I'm listening to TM87 right now. Like, yeah. And that Pokeroll too. Like, oh yeah, that Pokeroll too. When you throw I remember that, Pokeroll. You like when the first Pokemon came out, my like jaw was on the floor. <laughs> and then you did two, and then it was like, oh, you killed it with Shofu and Shizzy, but then you throw a Matt Houston? Because like you already know, I, I, I like me some Matt Houston. I'm not sure whether to set this or play it. I think I might hold on to it for right now. I'm just hoping that's not Call of the Haunted. No, because if it's Call of the Haunted, then even if he summons back Shadow Miss, he doesn't get the effects. So I don't care. So I might as well set it. So I can play it during his turn if he decides to go ahead and special summon Dark Wall. I mean, Shadow Mist during his turn. So I'll set it. All right, I think my deck's done. I'll keep tweaking it until... Is it a call to it? I hope not. Because now, now I got the Twin Twister on fleek. I was worried about an end phase, but I don't have to worry about the end phase. There's nothing There's nothing right here. You Shadow Mist during that turn. So who went to wonder about all our no testers? Damn. Damn, he's got nothing. Oh, it's just Royal Decree. I don't care about that. I don't think I even run any traps in here. Do I? Do I? Do I? Yes. Uh, torrential. You're on Torrential. Damn. <laughs> My one trap. Oh, that Royal Decree, though. That was Top totally deck Torrential. Up. Top deck yeah. Torrential. All right. Um, yeah. Just let me know when you're done, and then I'll... Exit the deck edit thing. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Uh, we'll try this deck even though it's going to get updated, of course, with that new powerful spell. I can't believe they made that card. I was so fucking happy. Honestly, I just want a card that can make Synchro Fusionist really easy to bring out without wasting your normal summon. Hell no. Why? So you could fucking trish the shit out of someone? Fuck yes, you. that's exactly Fuck why. Fuck you. I was using Synchro Fusionist like years ago. <clears throat> All the just way back Nor when... Just because Norton wasn't banned? It's illegal. Just because what? Just because Norton wasn't banned? I swear to God, Konami, if you don't ban Norton next list, I'm going to No, don't ban Norton. Don't ban, ban Norton. Norton. Ban no. fucking Norton. No! Shit. Yes. No. Norton's no. broken as fuck. It's really good, but I think it's fine at one. No. You would have to ban Soul Charge way before you ban Norton. And you no. Know it. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Ban Norton. Soul Charge definitely wins way more games. No. That it shouldn't. No. Who the fuck plays who, who the fuck plays Soul Charge in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh? No one. Who the, the fuck plays Norton? The question is why does Soul Charge everybody? exist? Because Konami made it. And I guess it's agreed upon, especially at this point, that Soul Charge, despite being broken as fuck, they feel it's fine at one. But there's, of course, there's and a there's divide between OGG and the TCG. No! Because OCG has a ban! Like, hell no! It should be banned! OCG only has it banned because they have better XEs. What? Fuck that! No! Uh, Shockmaster, hello? They banned Shockmaster. They did? Next? Yeah, they banned Shockmaster. They Didn't banned they ban it on the same list as Morden? Uh, I don't think so. I think they banned it on the same list when they hit uh, Pepe for the first time. It was their January list. They banned Shockmaster, Damage Juggler, and uh, and uh, Plushfire, and that's the only thing they did. That was their January list. So what what XC monster do they have that we don't have? Like I don't, I can't point to one. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for you to host. One, I'm waiting for you oh, to host. Waiting for me two. to host. Okay, yeah, you host. One, I'm waiting for you to host, and two. Go ahead and name it, because at this, because that, like I said, at this point, <laughs> they pretty much have every sea monster that we have hit, they have hit. Okay, so and then Norton shouldn't even be banned. No, it should be banned. Oh, they banned Norton and Infinity at the same time, didn't they? 
Yes. I mean, no, not in, no, in, in Ptolemaeus. Yeah, okay. Ptolemaeus. Th there you go. That's that's what that that's the one. See, they didn't have to ban. So even person. after they banned fucking Norden, they still banned fucking Shockmaster and uh fucking uh Lavalo Chain. Okay, well, Shockmaster deserves to be banned. Period. We all know that. And they banned that Lavalo Chain though. Oh my God, Rhoda, why aren't you at three? You know what to tell you to tell you right now. Even if Telonites were anything, I'd still say Rodin should still be hit. I don't think so. Because I can, I can say two things, and you'll be like, yeah, you know what, yeah. I doubt it, but you could try. Venture Knights are Warriors. Sad, so. So, Listen, yeah, Phantom Fent Knights already hit the grave whenever they want to, so. So that's just even Rodin. more of an enabler. And ID yeah. is a warrior. Okay, well then you hit the Phantom Knight deck. And then Monarchs, you know, I'm fine with them having all the tribute fodder they want. Yeah, I'm just talking about in this current time where everything is exactly the same except Rota's at three. It would be much worse. I think it would be fine. Because then you, yeah, Rota would be one step forward for those decks. But then it would be four steps forward for every other warrior deck in the game. So while it raises one deck up a little bit, it raises all the other deck up like a ton. Yep. Like I said, we look at the meta, and the meta, we say no. I don't think Rota would break the meta at all. Help, I just, it would just help the meta even more. Some of it. Would, it would literally power up like two of the best decks right now. Eh. I don't even think Monarchs would run three Rota, to be honest. I think they would. I think they definitely would. Because ideas so. are just like, so fucking important. It would just be dead. It'd just be a dead draw later on, especially with all the pantheisms. Hey, they can, you they can only can search for ideas them. so many times. And they already play the one for one just so they don't have to waste a normal summon. So you definitely have some dead cards. And I wasn't even paying attention to anything you did. It's really surprising that they don't. If I, if I played PK Fire, I'd, well, I guess you can risk the mill, but I'd definitely play it. Give me that Twin Twisters voice. What the fuck are you playing? Something sacky? No. I'm all piping as if you're not even here talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so that's definitely a call of the haunted. You don't know this that's deck very well, do you? Haunted. You don't know this deck very no, well. No, not really. <laughs> exactly. Because if you knew this deck, you would know that's that's not a call. Oh, okay, in your standby. That's fine. But this man's trying to get hella dirty with it, peoples. Uh, Emerald effect? Is that good? Oh, you got something. Like I said, what are you talking about that you can't play back row decks? You're doing perfectly fine right now, and I run triple twin. You, you don't understand, but it's okay. You'll understand soon enough. Yeah, it's fine. And I'm not saying you can't play back row decks, but, you know, it, you just have the potential to get blown out so easily. Hey, well, what you're doing to me right now, I'd say you should get blown out. Bro, it's, it's not that serious. <laughs> uh, you're just playing some dirty-ass trap deck? Hmm, yes. Yes. Yeah. Summon cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. All you control in the trap monster. This card is about to summon. You cannot target a card on the field and destroy it. Ew. All right, in your main phase, too. You know what? I'm just going to do this. <sighs> yeah, and I'll kill your back row. I mean, I mean, I can't even target your monster, right? Unless you respond to the activation of this. Yeah. I might go ahead and do that. So you're going to go ahead and activate that. I guess I'll go ahead and chain. Okay. Oh, I have to declare type and attribute. Uh, give me a sec. Hmm. I'll declare wind dinosaur. 
I don't give two fucks about Instafusion. Instafusion wasn't being played before Norton, and, and it probably won't be played after. I mean, if you really want to get your thousand ever strike, more power to you. But, you know, I totally don't mind OCG exchanging Norton ban and a thousand ever strike off, and you want to play Instafusion, more power to you. But then, oh, TCG over here, we have both? That's just stupid. I think it's fine. I honestly think it's no, fine. No, Norton needs to be banned. Nah. No, he, he's way too nah. much of a new boy. Nah. I, I like the I like the option to extend your plays. No, I don't. Th- I don't. Th- I think we don't have enough of those, to be honest. No. Like, yeah, this game is way too fucking fast. No, Norton's not helping. Nah. I, I don't I'm think sure. Norton is the issue. I think Norton. Norton's one of the current, issues. I, I don't think so, because if if you threw Nord if you threw Norton into goat format, it wouldn't all of a sudden destroy everything. I don't think so. I think it's the that just shows ability. that the game is too fast. Yeah, because I think of it's what we the have ability today. for decks like, what do we have to do? To ban all rank four? Such good advantage of it. No, no, like not, not. I don't even think it's the rank four that's the problem. Hello, what the fuck? Rank four is like the second most broken mechanic in Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Like oh no. When I say rank four is not the problem, I'm not talking about the overall. I'm waiting I'm for you in terms like, of Norden. What the fuck is Quantum Cat? Wind dinosaur. I said wind dinosaur. Oh, I didn't even hear you. That's fine. Go ahead. Uh, I'm still surprised anti spell fragrance has never been hit. Wind dinosaur. That's fine. And I want it in defense mode. Okay. Let's see. I'll do this. Mm. Yeah. I'll just do that. Effect? Mm. Oh, I'm thinking. No. Nah. Uh. Oh. It's main phase one, by the way. Yeah. More sets. Oh, more sets, more sets, more sets, more sets. See, this is boring. Trap monster deck. Holy shit, this is boring. Uh, in phase one? Yeah. Card. Use my normal summon for effect for Doom Shaman. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Doom Shaman effect, is that okay? Yeah. Summon Tinker, is that okay? Ooh, I think I know what you're going to do. Uh, My hands are tied. What do you think about it? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, I hate this card. <laughs> I know what you're going to do. Yeah. Tinker effect? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Judge, he looked at the top card of his deck. Damn. Damn. Image. All right, I'm good. Draw. Oof. Um, wow, actually, no, that's not that good. <laughs> you want to go ahead and scoop it up, or do you still have a whole bunch of trap plays? Is this okay? Oh, well, first I have to pay the cost. Nah, I'll negate that. I don't care about the rest of your plays. I don't want you to go plus. I got you go neg. Activate. That's fine. Uh, Activate. That's fine. Oh, shit, that's a tuner. That's power. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Black Rose, let's go. Well, actually, activate. Yes, sir. Hmm. What do I want to do? Leo? Okay, let's try this. Sync 7. Sync 11. Bam! Oh. Okay. Activate. 
Scarn gains a thousand attack rates, continues crapping your graveyard. So how strong is that? One, two, three, four, five, seven thousand? Seven fucking yeah. thousand. Damn straight. Sure. Oh. Sure. And I should read Beatrice. I've actually never read this card. Uh, when she's destroyed you by battle by card effect, I can special summon one burning abyss monster from my extra deck, ignoring seven. Okay, so I'm attacking your Void Ogre Dragon. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's happening. Ouch. All right. And oh, then I forgot that card's good. You stacked it. Yep. You and lose. oh, I just had to get rid of the anti spell, didn't I? I know some for a fact. A fact. <laughs> Cute, but you still lose. Tinker. Ah, oh, Instafusion. For Nor Norton shenanigans. Oh, I got this Instafusion. Mm -hmm. Summon thousand night restricted. Took your ass. <laughs> Kidnapped your ass, boy. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't get any attack, though. So I don't yeah. care. Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> Scrap effect. Um, Negate. With what? Your good looks or your, <laughs> or your <laughs> awesome personality. Listen, Uriah Lord of Searing Flames. That's the name of my mixtape, okay? So my mixtape is going to melt your scrap dragon. And uh, therefore, by the laws of physics, uh, you lose 2,001 life points. All right. <laughs> you want to go ahead and hit that emit defeat button for me? Never! <laughs> you want to run it back again? Yes, you're about to lose. What do you mean? I was a fluke. I opened up really well in that duel, too. I got hella set up. And I started drawing to hella revival. Why are you going to make me go first? I hate going first. Oh. Ew. Ew. Why? Ew. That reaction oh. is why I hate going first. Oh, I opened up the booty this duel. Yeah. Mm. Set, 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 mm. set, 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 Got it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Summon Denko. The main reason I stopped playing this deck is because Denko was a thing. And okay. people would just Denko me all day. Okay. Fine. Um, uh, nine. Sure. Fun Dread. Well, this duel's gonna be boring. Go. Mm. Oh, well, I'm stupid. I should have just stopped your attack. Is that card even out in the TCG? Yeah. Really? I've never seen that. This card. whole deck is TCG legal. Well, except for one card in my extra deck. Uh, can you go ahead and declare for me? Oh, right. Um, it's negated anyway. Or does uh, that? Is this continuous effect? Activate this by declaring one monster. No, type no, it's not. Okay. You. So, so I guess I'll make it. I'll make it a. A wind dinosaur again. Okay. Actually, no. Uh. Hmm. No, yeah. Okay, I'll make it a wind dinosaur. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, and then I'll pass. And I got nothing. Fucking skill drain. You run them twin twisters? Yeah, I do, but I'm not drawing them. Go. Oh. And it's Oof. dirty. Um, wow, that's actually pretty annoying. Um, okay, I'll just attack. Main two. Boom. I don't know why you did that. I wouldn't have done that. I would have just kept beating me with 18 beater until I lost. Well, you, you're just assuming I can't do anything else? 
I'm just what? saying I'm not, the play wasn't necessary at the time. Stop doing unnecessary things. Like you're you're doing fine in this duel. Can't play under skill drain. This sucks. Fucking number generator. Skill drain should probably be banned. No, oh, it's not bad. It's fine at one. I've never liked it. I know I don't like it either. I even played Cleese and I didn't like it, but you know, if it ain't doing shit, don't move it. It's not like there's a competitive deck that's playing skill drain fucking everybody up and even then it's a floodgate, but you know how Konami feels about floodgates, it's fine at one, same thing with vanities. You got your skill Eventually drain. they're gonna get to the point where there's a bunch of a bunch of really good floodgates all at one and it'll basically be like there's nine or ten floodgates all at one. Yep, I thought Konami needs to stop making that shit. At least we're not seeing much of lose one turn anymore. I mean, we might with the probably resurgence of Yusenju's with Kata Demise and uh, Rippling Mirror Force, but. Kata Demise is annoying. Yep. Just enables back row decks to do more back row shenanigans. Like, if Kata Demise wasn't a thing. I don't know. Um, so, summon these two. Yep. Defense and then mode. I'll go... Or attack mode. I'm going to synchro, so... I'm just. Oh, okay. oh, never mind. I can't... Oh, I read so that wrong. No! <laughs> no! I read the levels wrong! I thought you have a 9? Uh, like, oh, shit. That's pretty power if you have a 9. For some reason, I read that as level 5. Okay. Oh, so no, you're going to put him in defense mode? What, what happened to that? Oh, never mind. I'm gonna... <laughs> you're in attack mode, you fucking <laughs> here. Put him back in attack mode, boy. <laughs> what are you talking Bring about? Bring that ass here, boy. Fucking what are you scrub, talking man. about? Fucking <laughs> summon them in attack mode. I warned you, but no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like I have shit anyway. <sighs> Fucking scale drain, man. Fucking scale drain. Well, think of it this way. As soon as you draw Twin Twist Girls, I'll start losing really hard, so. <sighs> yeah, that'd be nice, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to end up drawing it. Just give me that Uriah. What? Hmm? Huh? Oh. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Do I have anybody in here? I have you. Fuck it. I'll use you. Hmm. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know who's my, who is more of a threat, the tuner or the guy who can pop shit. But he's a twenty-five booty, which I can't really handle at this point. Uh, sucks. I just need Twin Twister. Like this duel is just going to a screeching halt, caveman Yu-Gi-Oh style. Cause no fucking Twin Twister. This fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah. This duel is boring. You made it boring. Just wait till I drop that 7K mixtape again. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's spring. The allergies are coming, I can tell. As soon as I got Ryan's text that said that the stream chat is getting weird, I already know who's being the stream chatter enabler. It's fucking Stanzi. Like, that man's weird. Stanzi's a weird man. Bell, is that okay? Mm -hmm. At least you bell can't kill itself. Or that. Bring that ass here, boy. You got another fingers chain? Oh, okay. This is dual, though. This is resident. This dual is resident sleeper. <laughs> I need twin twisters like immediately. Mm -hmm. I needed twin twisters like yesterday. Yep. Ooh, okay. We have plays. That's not broken. <laughs> we got plays, team. That's not broken. Let's so, see. Go ahead and activate that last continuous trap. Tribute all three. Yep. Send all three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which attack is that? One, two, three, four, six K. Damn. 
Ooh, you are almost dead. Damn, 6K. Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, what? What? What happened? 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 <laughs> One time this card is good. <laughs> wow. You didn't think at all. So much. <laughs> oh, this man didn't think at fucking all. <laughs> wow. All right. I, I can still do stuff, but. Is that a special summon? That's a normal summon. No, the Uriah. Yeah, it's a special summon. Yeah, no, your eyes in a special summon. That's fine. I don't know why I made it the end phase. Oh wait, no, because it activates in the end phase. That's why yeah. I knew it, I had reason. Okay, I'm smart. Um, well, I'm not too smart, but <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'll add this card. Sure. Wow, that was just. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> You should be. You're bad and you should oh, feel bad. Oh, man, that was awful. That was so bad. Okay. Got a 7K Uriah and it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Fact? Yummy? Uh, <laughs> yummy? Oh, yummy? Oh, no. <laughs> yummy? <laughs> yummy? <laughs> oh, what what are you talking about? Oh. Fucking Thousand Eyes Restrict, Northern Enabling shit is fine? Like, no, it's not. Yeah, Thousand Eyes isn't even that bad, but... Hey, but I wouldn't be running it if fucking Northern... Like, if, if Northern was banned and Thousand Eyes Restrict was here and we had Insta-Fusion, we, no one would fucking run that shit. I would run it. I would definitely no, run it. No, no one would run that Especially shit. as a Synchro player, I would definitely run it. Level 1 Insta-Fusion target? You know how long I've been waiting for it to be unbanned? You joking? No. Of course no, I'd run it. I'd run that in a half of... I'd run it in a heartbeat. Uh, I'll do this. Yeah. All right. And, um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't attack. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I can't attack. Well, you're still in the battle phase, and I'm still going to okay. do this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Just that? Yeah. You know what? Upon your main phase two. Yep. Um, I might as well. Uh, when you activate that, uh, I'll go ahead and use giant hand effect on you and target you. Okay. No effect on summon. Uh, I have not used my normal summon, so use my normal summon to gain doom shaman effect. Is that okay? Mm, yeah. Doom Shaman effect. It's time. <laughs> uh, I think I'm good. What's it time for? Please explain. Unless you have something. But I think I might be okay for right now. Depends. Depends. You just wait. Listen, as soon as I draw my next Uriah, you lose the duel. So. In face? Yeah. Good. Your bell effect? Tribute a monster? Is that okay? Oh, you slimy piggy. I'm going to tribute Doom Shaman. Oh, you're Doom tributing the Doom Shaman. Okay. Yeah. Doom Shaman effect? Monsters that are summoned by Doom Shaman are destroyed. Destroy your bell. Your bell effect? Summon tear? Ah, I see what you're doing. Okay. And then tear effect. Wipe everybody's ass. Nah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Just your cards. Okay, that's fine. Just your cards. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'll just do that. Ooh, that's dirty. That's dirty, Daddy. I don't like dirt. dirt. That. All the dirt. All the sand and dirt and all that dirt and sand. Ouch. It hurts. And you said Yu Gi Oh's too fast. Hey, when you slow it down to a screeching halt, then it's not. But it's possible to. 
You just have to build the right deck. All right. I think I'll go ahead and activate your favorite card. Is that okay? It's not okay. You <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> oh, this card. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I thought you were uh, talking about a different favorite card. Uh, I'm going to target Norden, <laughs> target Armageddon Knight. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Smells like Castells. Both effects. Ooh, I just realized something. What did you realize? Did that I smack you? No, that um, you could bring back Thousand Eyes with a card like King Kabuo or Soul Charge or whatever. Yeah, just use it yeah. over yeah. and over. It doesn't need to be yeah. Doesn't need to be summoned properly. And keep in mind, I'm running Limit Reverse on this deck. No, it was summoned properly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you don't have to... Once it's summoned, you don't have to... Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a semi-nomi. Yeah, semi-nomi, so it's just so good. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I have so many plays, I don't know uh, what I want to do. Ladies and gentlemen, he's drowning on yeah. on the plays. I am drowning on the plays. The plays are too strong, I'm drowning. Norden's on a boat. I've always really liked his artwork. Who, Norden? Yeah. Poseidon looking awesome dude. <laughs> mm. Go ahead and activate that set trap so you can go ahead and spot pop me with uh, anguish. Nah, I got nothing. Damn. All right, Castell effect? That's like the downside to this deck. Get rid of that. Uh. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Fucking cheating ass, man. <laughs> what? I thought I had Dark Tinker. That's... <laughs> that's all? Hmm. So many plays, but I don't know what I want to do. You should definitely scoop because there's no way you can win and go to game three. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, I wish I had this card back in my hand. I kind of regret setting it. I should have never set it. It's not like I can play it anyway. I'm out of targets. Uh, I will go ahead and use Summoner Monk Effect. Okay. I'm going to get an effect. Do I have anything else I want to send? I have all these Mallies. I haven't done a Mally play all fucking duel. And you should keep it that way. Oh, I mean, I really don't need to do a Mally Clay right now. Emerald effect? Yeah. I have a normal summoned either. You haven't? Nope. Remember, I did Soul Charge. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. Normal summon for effect? Effect? Tinker effect. Stop. <laughs> Can you not? I'm going to shuffle my deck anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, scrap effect. Target my, my uh, Terra Incarnate. Target your... Uh, mm, I can't target your freaking statue, so I guess I'll target your set card. Good? No! Your set card was no threat. Just in print more. It was, no threat. It was, it was, it was a lifeline. You think that anti spell fragments would fuck me, but I'm pretty okay for right now. At least I can't attack, right? 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 That's why my soul charge is broken. Proving <laughs> <laughs> my point. <laughs> my point. What are you talking about? Nah, I'm okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'll do... At least I, at least I don't have to this. worry about you just playing Regeki on my ass. More set cards. Who would have guessed? You. Uh... <clears throat> uh, scrap effect. I'll get rid of Limit Verse and I'll target your middle one. Um, 
a chain mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'll target your die gusto. Sure. It's all expendable. <laughs> it's all expendable, my nig. These trap cards, man. They're so fast. Ooh, I should throw in a Herald of Creation. Hello? Yeah, how? How? Wow, I cheated. Yep, I cheated. Wait, what'd you do? Uh, I used Summoner Monk when he was Summoner with Northern. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know uh, yeah, yeah, There, yeah. we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, now it's fair. You want to gain that much life points to make it fair? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to make it up. Right. Should be that heads, yes. Loss. Heads, heads. This is fair, and then tails. It's a game loss. All right. Yay! Oh well. Did you have an out for this? Uh, no. No. Because it would have no. been. Three, four, five, six, seven, card? eight, nine, ten. It would have been yeah. like 12,000 attacks. What's that set card? Fiendish Chain. No, because I would have fucked you up. Because I would have I would have went into another scrap dragon, which you of course you cut a Fiendish Chain, and then I would have killed all the all your monsters face up on the field. So you you only had those <coughs> the Fiendish Chain your anti spell, so you only had two. So you wouldn't be able to summon it. Well then I would just have to rely on the cards in my hand. I don't think I could have probably lived, so <laughs> Going first, huh? Yeah. Mm. Fuck. Yeah. What? Why'd you discard you, Bell? It's like the best card in your deck. What? Why would you not want that card in your hand? I don't understand. Okay. Let's see. Normal. Yep. Mm, set this and that mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. and that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay, back row. Ah. Uh, Boom. That's fine. And is that okay? Yeah. All right. So then in your standby, I'll go this guy. Yeah. And then after that resolves, I'll go this guy. Yep. Yeah. And I'll pop your back row. Chain. <sighs> no. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so you do run the call the haunted in this deck, or at least the no. limit reverse. Limit reverse, not call the haunted. Call the haunted like card. Oh, be a new deck. I'll see a good archetype. Uh, I'll try. Right, main face. Yeah. I really don't have anything right now. Is that how strong are you? Activate. Sure. Pop. Sure. Tinker effect. Breath. <laughs> Stop doing stuff, man. Hell of a fucking bluff. Hell of a fucking bluff. Battle? Tuck. Um Take that hundred for me, Poppy? Oh I'm sixteen, okay. Yeah. I thought I Ah bruh. I'm so dumb. I thought I had more attack. See, I don't read my cards because I'm playing set by the rules. One card and I will end phase, Terror. Go ahead and so that When you attempt to end phase, I okay. will do this in your main phase. 
Okay. So and I'll end of, kill the turret. So in phase two. Yep. Effect. Yeah. <clears throat> That's so powerful. That monster. I know. Especially when you play it correctly. <laughs> Unlike this guy. Um... Wait, this guy has 1,900 attack? What? Yeah. And zero defense? What am I doing? Yeah. Look at me. Not reading cards. Like a yeah. champ. Okay, Draw face? Yeah. Standby face. Yes. Main face. <laughs> yes. I hate that I have to talk to you like this. <laughs> I feel I like I'm talking down it. to you. I definitely feel like I'm talking down to you every time I do something. Hmm. You're five. You're four. You're seven. You're the biggest threat, but you're only zero. Um... Do these guys count as traps, or they count as monsters? Both. Like, Regeki kills them all, and Twin Twister kills them all as well. Okay. Battle? And they're also occupying spell and trap zones, just so you know. Okay, so your spell and trap zones are filled? Yeah. Okay. Battle? Okay. What's my attack? Um, activate. Chain. No! So I will go ahead and pop you. And I'm not really, I don't really care about the anti spell fragrance. It's not really fucking me. So I don't really care about him. Uh, this card cannot be destroyed about it. You're kind of annoying too. So, so I'll, pop, I'll definitely pop you. And I guess I'll pop one of the stingrays that dragged me. So get that out of here. Finally got Twin Twister up in this bitch. Finally. All right. So the field was changed. So I will go ahead and redeclare my good man. Uh, who's a bigger yeah. threat? I mean, neither, no, really, no. really neither. No, so. At least this thing's zero, so it can't actually kill me. <sighs> my skill drain at. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking skill drain. Fuck me up real good. Why are you going defense mode? You're still going to get killed by Ultimate Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to get run over by Dark Graffer again. I want to get an attack with this regardless. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. It has Main more phase. defense. Okay, it makes sense. Main phase good? Yeah. Battle phase good? Yeah. Bring that ass here, boy? Yes, Master. <laughs> Hey, at least I can't do any more damage to you, right? Right. Oh, right. right. Damage. Yeah, um, you that 16, boy. You're the one that killed Terror and summoned Ultimate Nightmare. I wasn't trying to lose all of my monsters, though. How, how was hey. I supposed to know you had a Twin Twister? Hey. Okay. Um, I'll do this. Yep. I'm free. Hallelujah. Then I'll do that. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Damn, what's that last card in your hand, boy? Nothing. Uh, main phase, good. Yeah. Insta fusion, good. Yeah. Uh, some of that Norton, Norton fat, good. Nah. Ooh, a blade. Yes. Uh, oh wait, does this not get destroyed? No, it's still affected by the institution, so I'll still be pumped during Enphase. All right. Yeah. Okay. Unless I can't be destroyed. Yeah, still, yeah, I'm affected by the institution still. Uh, silent I'm doom? looking at the wrong card. Um, sure. 
Game Shaman? Oh, don't tell me it's in here. No! Yes, yeah, so he is. You remember? You popped him. I should have set, like, everything. I'm such an idiot. Hey. 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 Synchro uh, Shotgun. I just don't play with this deck enough. Synchro effect? Ah, yes. I'll gladly take that. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need you to calm down. It's not like you play Mirror Force or anything. All right. If I top deck Uriah, I win. That's basically the po <laughs> position I'm in. That'd be power if you do top deck him. Because if I don't top deck him, I basically lose, like, guaranteed, so. Okay. Uh, I guess I am done. So Norton is gone, which means that your Fog Blade is gone because he's moved from the field. Oh, okay, so right. That's one last fucking face up trap that I gotta worry about. No, so what were you about? What were you saying about pop decking your eye? What? Oh, you actually did have him in your hand. Cool story, bro. <laughs> no, I top cool decked him. Like, oh no, you did, but yeah, the fog blade. So oh, what were your other? You know what? I'm so what, were you, what were your other two sets? No, no, I could have won. Oh my god, I had safe zone and imperial custom, so I could have activated safe zone on your void ogre, which you probably would have tried to negate, and then I could have. Why would I negate it? Wait, wait. Why would I negate it? Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, I wouldn't negate the the, the safe zone. That does nothing to me. No, because I'm... if I because then if I would if I would top deck the Uriah, your void ogre would go. I don't know. Basically, no, no, no. I... You would have had fog blade on the field. You would have activated safe zone on my void ogre, which would have been fine. And then as soon as you activated the third one, I would have negate on your imperial custom. So then you still had only two. Okay. So I win. So you lose. Good day, sir. Woo! <laughs> and I, the thing is, I had a I had a second fog blade in my hand that I didn't set. You just so drew. If I just set that I would have won. Hey, like, you just, hey, hey, you just drew it. Yeah, I mean, you just set it. Too bad. You're so bad. You're so bad. Listen, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why you have double fog blade. You don't set double fog blade. Ago, and I haven't played it since. All right. It was, all right. It was like, and just and just so you know what I was gonna top deck. It doesn't matter. You would have lost. If I played correctly, you would have lost. You would have had what? Ten... One shot it. You would have got one shot it. You, what would uh, you have had? With the, one, two, three, with the four, cards five, that were on my field, eight, with nine, the cards that were on my field combined with the cards in my game, you would have gotten one shot it. Yeah. Because that insta fusion play. Okay. Because you would have been count, on 11. Count. Hold on. You would have been on 11. Go to your screen really quick. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven K. Yeah, you would have gotten one shotted, even if you had full life. No. Void ogre, three thousand minus eleven K minus three K is eight K. Even if you had full life, you would have gotten one shotted. Yeah, that's true. But you fucked up, so GG. I know I did. Good day, sir. I know. But no, I wouldn't have negated one of your traps, so. So you still have been fucked because I summoned Void Ogre. That stupid fog blade. Yep. I don't know why I just said, oh, you know what? Let me just keep this in my hand so that I can set it next turn. Yeah, that's a good Oh, idea. yeah. And then yeah. just in case you think that you were cute and you'd be like, oh, well, I would have had all three and I would top deck into the Uriah and I still would have had my plays. No, you wouldn't have. Because I have your favorite card. You would not have used. Oh, wait. Yes, no, I would. No. In phase two? Yeah, no, I would have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I would have. Because I know you would have had three. Yeah. So, nope. So okay. I win. Suck it. Okay, you would. You Suck beat a trap monster <laughs> deck. Damn straight. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking scrub. Fucking twin twister blew your own nipples back. And it was good. One of these days, I'm just going to bring the tier one of tier one meta decks ever. <laughs> just going to watch you cry. <laughs> All right, people. All right. That is uh, the end of the stream. Uh, you never messaged me anything. You never sent or told me anything like I'll, I'll try i mean i can't get any worse than the shit on daily duels so fucking what do you think about that about what the shit on daily duels this month you should find a way to break the decks <laughs> that's what i would do just find a way to make the deck really good go through all the cards in the game you if you have to just scroll through every single page pull out all the possibilities and there has to be a combination of cards that would make the deck actually viable. I mean, BDS, I, I mean, that's, 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 that's BDS plus Monarchs. That's easy. Like as soon as I saw BDS, I'm like, just throw it with Monarchs. That's easy. 
fucking ninjas. I'm gonna, of course, throw it in with the ninjas pendulum are dish. actually good. They're well, they can really, be good. They're just really slow. Like I'm mad that they were select as a tag deck. As a single, I could have done something, but tag. Oh, they're a tag just, deck. Yeah, it's tag deck. So right. it hurt. I haven't really had a chance to do much interneting this month. And then Nordix, oh, God, I mean, I said Nordix, I'm going to go ahead and throw with a Performance Age engine, draw plus a whole bunch, depending on some of them level three fucking lizard draws and synchro with them. <laughs> like, yeah, buddy, I can do it. <laughs> I guess. And then Zushin, Zushin's just going to be a sacky piece of shit deck because I'm going to make it a sacky piece of shit deck. I probably Zushin is new, right? Yeah. I'll probably end up uh, dueling oh, against the AI. Oh, that, that, that with, card. Yeah. Oh that, my god! Because that four card so... setup was too much. Like Asian Eyes was fucking showing off, and look, he's like, look how good it is. But the guy literally opened up all four of the cards that he needed to pull off the. What, the what is it? And open it. Combo. Uh, it's Zushin. Uh, uh, what's the name of that card? Like a wild monster appears or whatever. Like the one that you special summon a level ten, ignoring summoning. Oh yeah. Play that. Play that. Uh, Escalation of the Monarch, so you contribute something to your opponent's turn, and that uh, Neptune Dragon. I have to look that up. Uh, yeah, look him up. It's like you tribute summon him for one tribute, and then he gains the effect of the tribute summon monster. Oh, the Tyrant Neptune. Yeah. So pretty much you do a Wild Monster appear, special summon Zushin, set Escalation, then your opponent's main phase, play Escalation, and tribute uh, uh, Zushin for Tyrant Neptune before... Uh, uh, ne- uh, Zushin to shuffle back into your deck during the end phase because of Wild Monster. And what does Zushin do again? Is it a win condition? or? It's not a win condition, but it's pretty much an invincible monster. Uh, it's unaffected by card effects, and any monster it battles, it gains a thousand attack over that monster. <clears throat> and it doesn't activate the thousand attack gain, which I was mistaken of in the card view. So even if Utopia the Lightning he would just go up to 6,000 and kill you, Tuppy the Lightning. So unless you're playing like Monarch Storm Fourth or, or fucking... Um, or a Kaiju Monster. Yeah, or a Kaiju Kaka Monster Meta. main deck, <laughs> then, you, then you lose. So pretty much you lose game one, and I'm no, only playing one lose. single balloon. You just have to find a different way to win. How, how? What can you do to that monster once it hits the field? If you're not main deck in the Kaiju Monster. You can attack directly. You just find a way to attack and directly. If you're, if you're playing some deck that allows you to attack directly. Yeah. So... So literally, you need those four cards. I tried on daily duels this past Friday, I mean, but there have I kept on getting stopped, or it. I kept on getting stopped, or I wouldn't get the card. So no, next this upcoming Friday, we're just gonna get dirty with it. I'll probably duel the AI and test it, but no, we're just gonna play pretty much a draw deck, stall deck, draw similar to Exodia, except instead of drawing to Exodia, I'm just gonna draw into fucking Zushin. And then if I and then I'll try it on people, but they'll probably end up quitting. Hold on, if you use Phantom of Chaos and then tribute Phantom of Chaos. Which has changed its name for the Tyrant Neptune. Then what happens? You gain the name. Do you gain the effect? That's what I'm asking. Because if Phantom uh, of Chaos, which it becomes a Zushin, will now give Tyrant Neptune Zushin's effect, then that could be an viable option. Um, yeah, sorry. Talking about one effect monster in your graveyard, banish that target until the end phase. Until the end phase. But you can't tribute again until your opponent's turn. Make sense? Because you already probably used your Phantom of Chaos to do Zushin. Well, Phantom of Chaos is... You can special summon it somehow, I guess. Yeah, somehow. I mean, it's a zero attack, zero defense dark monster, so it's... I believe it's searchable. I think you could do it? Maybe? No, I'm not know. sure. I'm not sure if it would be Zushin that effect part or That Phantom... says target one effect monster in the graveyard that was tributed for the tribute summon, so I guess it would... So, I don't think so, to... because then I... Would tribute Phantom Chaos. Phantom Chaos would lose to Zushin, and then it would just have Phantom of Chaos's effect, not Zushin's effect. To have yeah. Phantom of Chaos effect. No, that's not going to work. Yeah. Zushin? Zushin doesn't activate. He just gains the thousand attack over. Because you hope your lightning would stop Zushin's effect again, but. He's a continuous effect. He will always have a thousand attack over the monster that he battles. Therefore, even if you go after Zushin with a te- Utopia Lightning, he'll just go up to six thousand and kill your ass. I've seen it. I've seen it. So anyway, yeah, you just have to attack directly. Then everyone run that number eighty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So pretty much, it's a struggle when he hits the field. And I think I only summoned him once during Daily Duels for a 36 minute video, and my opponent ended up quitting anyway. But yeah, the other time, my opponent would stop me. Like either I pick something out of my opponent, or terrible. So we're gonna try to draw engine, just draw a whole bunch of cards, summon a normal monster, magical mallet, and fucking Zushin reveal. Put all the ten counters and special summon Zushin. Anyway, oh, live stream is done. So <laughs> we you went and the series when you pull the combo off. <laughs> End on a high note. I mean, but, you know, I mean, it's not like Zushin will be compared. I mean, because who isn't siding fucking uh, uh, Kaiju's this format? Like, come on. I don't know. So, that's pretty power. At least if they summon Dark Planet, you can negate that Monarch Storm for it. So, you're just going to have to contact these with... Uh, I really do want to see someone try Dark Planet with Mo uh, Mount of the Bound. Well, it already can't be targeted, so what? It just wouldn't be able to be destroyed by card effect? Yeah, so the only way you could get rid of it is basically with a non-targeting monster or traps. <laughs> Listen! <laughs> get your veilers ready. Uh, <laughs> worry about Ignisty! <laughs> get Ignisty. <laughs> All right, so that is another live stream of fucking Forever Epic losing to me. Why do you have such a hard time beating me? Because <laughs> I use the most trash decks. <laughs> you really do. Hey, you beat me with that Penguin Soldier that one time. <laughs> Listen, the Penguin deck is tier zero. That Penguin Soldier fucked me up, but I that Did Penguin Soldier you... fucked me up, but I can't talk shit because in that tournament when that fucking Shadal Dragon fucked up my opponent, that was hella funny. <laughs> Salty as fuck. Listen, Listen, you need to go to Twitch... Go to Stu Dog's live stream and rewatch his live stream because I played him with penguins. And, and you, you just need up. to watch that match. Just watch the match. Just watch the match. Just watch the match. All right, you go ahead and you go ahead and play that penguin soldier. I'm gonna come at you with that fucking Cosmo you bell, and then you're just gonna fucking lose. Listen, I don't think you understand the power of the penguin soldier deck. What the you fucking really penguin don't. soldier? What the fucking penguins you just do to a dark destroyer? Everything. Don't question me. All right. All right. <laughs> anyway, people, I hope you guys enjoyed. That stream went by quick. I don't know who's going to join me next Saturday, but of course we will be streaming next Saturday. I don't know what we're going to do. We just playing. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thank you, Mr. Forever Epic, for joining me. Yeah. I didn't know you were so black. You growing up that fro? What me? Yeah. I got a haircut. Oh, okay. So since you did the banlist video, you got a haircut. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not that you were growing up that fro. I and mean, I, guess I'd... I can maintain it, but it's just too much work. <laughs> and then that live video, that deck profile, the Cosmo you bell. I mean, the Cosmo you bell, that Cosmo again. And it's like the first time y'all saw me in like a cool minute. <laughs> oh yeah. With my fucking slick back hair. Fucking you know, I, I should probably do a live stream today. I'll probably do one later. If you want to, if, uh, tell me on Skype if you're going to do it. I guess I'll go ahead and join you if you want me to. I, I might actually do it in like an hour or so. Okay. Let's go. Awesome. Okay. Let me wrap this up. So thanks for uh, people being here. And uh, yeah, see you guys next Saturday with more live stream. Bye.